A quick video uh, for cohort B today, and it's going to be on how to use uh, Desmos.com, D-E-S-M-O-S.com. It's a graphing website where you can share your graph, okay? So Desmos.com. We're just going to open up a browser. In this case, we're going to use Google Chrome. Going to set in, uh, go to a new uh, window here. I'm just going to type in desmos.com. Desmos.com. You hit enter, and you'll see this page. Okay. So desmos.com is a website that allows you to create graphs, share graphs. Uh, one of our uh, questions today will be on creating a graph. I'm not expecting you to have graph paper at home, so you can use this uh, website and you can um, share your graph with me. So under this part here, there's the graphing calculator. That's what we want to click on next. So we head over here and we hit graphing calculator. Okay, It'll take us to uh, this. So here we see a, a graph It goes into, uh, here's the um, area of origin, the zero, zero, right in the middle. In this case, uh, I'm gonna actually drag this graph over a little bit because we don't use negative integers just yet with our graphs. So if I make it bigger, you can see, right, depending on how big or small it is will be depending on how many squares. So we know that our Y axis goes up, our X axis goes out, right? So here we see five, 10, 15. If we were to make it bigger, you know, some of those will get smaller, two, four, one would be in the middle. So over here, what we do in order to put our table in and show where those uh, ordered pairs or the points get plotted on the graph, we go up here to this top part up here, there's a plus sign way up here on the, on the left side of the screen. So if we go to that plus sign, we hit add item, and if you go to table, you click table, and now it's got the beginnings of a table. So if we wanted to say the first term, let's say something like um, every week that you do your chores, you get $5 allowance. So we would say, uh, the first week you get five dollars and we go down the second week now you already had five the second is another five so you've got ten this is keeping a running total of how much you're making for like a month or a year so second week now you've made ten dollars because every week goes up by fives now we're on to the third week and you're gonna be at fifteen dollars you're really trying to save your money and you're saving up for a bike. Now you can see as we're typing the numbers out, one week, five, two weeks, you've made $10 in total, three weeks, you've made 15, and four weeks, you've made 20. Remember whenever we're graphing, we always do the x-axis first, so you go out, and then the y-axis up. So our first number here is always the x, and that's always our y. So from our origin at zero, we go over one, up five. Then our second one, over two, up 10. And you can see those plots pointed right on there. Now, if you're going to share this with someone, you'll look up here, you see the box with the arrow in it right beside the sign up? If you go to that box with the arrow, what you can do is click on that, and then it'll say print, export image, embed, or share this link. If you hit the copy button when you see share this link, the link is right here. You can hit copy. And then in our Edmodo, uh, on our math questions today, you could paste your URL. And then I can click on your URL and I can have a look at your graphs and check to see if you're doing everything all right. Okay. If you have any questions, don't forget to message me on Edmodo. There's the messages at the top. You can message me and ask me any questions. Yeah, well.